Okay, my friends, this is going to be a trip to Mars. This is what they have just found on Mars, and they're sending back these images. Look at this carefully. Then look at all these little bumpy little ripples here. And these little indentations. Well, and what is this? Well, that's my leather jacket. All right, and don't forget, that's the surface of Mars. I am telling you, this is the skin of some, or the hide of some animal, and so was my leather jacket. Now, this is tanned. All right, what does tanning mean? They flatten it out, and they stretch it out like crazy. And then they roll it back and forth, and all these little bumps get flattened out. But that's that central core. You see it right there? You see it right there? That's it right there. Same thing. Now, the reason those bumps are all bumpy looking like that are because they rolled it and put it in some kind of acids and washes and things like they do with that. Tanning, that's what they do. And it ends up being in a flat surface and it is very durable. Okay, this is the label side. It's just a standard utility belt, nothing fancy. And this is what, you see it like you can see it pretty good here. Now on the other side, just to show you, I think there's something that says it's genuine leather. There it is right here. Genuine leather. Now, what they do when they they tan a, 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 a hide. And I can tell you right now, that is interstitching. You see this here? All these little straps? Those run to these little black balls. You see all those little black balls? When I shade them, you can see them good. Otherwise, they sort of... Well, you can see them both ways. <laughs> but what they do is they crush them. But these straps run to them. That's why it's all flexible and still tough as hell. And that's exactly what it is, because it is the hide of a creature. Now this is the other side, the top. Now let's come right down on top of it. Hold on, that's going to take a second. Alright, this is my leather jacket again, and this is one of the... They roll them and crush them and stretch them and pull them and soak them into stuff to make them really durable, and they, uh, they end up being very durable. But you lose a lot of the structure. Now, I'm going to show you something down below here, and we're going to take a look at this in a second. <laughs> That's, this is a killer. Okay, so once again, don't forget what you're looking at here. This is on Mars. This is all the scrabbly stuff, and these are the little pinchy spots. And that's so that this leather can do all this, and that is the surface of Mars. I claim that there is nothing but biology, and I've been watching this since 2014 with curiosity. I followed it extremely well, and I will show you all the pictures that indicate literally no question is biology. Okay, my friends, get ready to hold on to your hats. This is in the desert in North Africa. And it looks to me like that could be one of the things that we call an anchor. All right? And why would there be an anchor right there, that round ball? Because it's in skin. All right? You see that? There's another one there. Down underneath that, apparently, I would think. This is all skin can pull and twist and do all that. You see all that? Where did we see that before? I think we saw it up on Mars. You take this or show any a, a um, anatomist, um, a tanner, a guy that does tanning. It's, 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 it's undeniable. This is exactly what skin, you know, heavy duty um, hide. And like, I think it might even be like ostrich hide, that type of thing. But look at that. That's not weathering from erosion and stuff. No, absolutely not. And I know what it is. I know the creature came from. And it's just 
hard to believe that anything could be that enormous. But you see this abrupt transition? Why would some something abruptly transition like that? You see? That's the end of it right there. Why is that nice? Well, that could just be the coloring from Google Earth. But that is that is what I call an abrupt transition. When you find an abrupt transition, something changed abruptly. No more skin. Whatever is under here is under here. Wow, look at this stuff. These look like all dried up old pools or something. There is so much to see on Google Earth, it's just not bothered to be looked at. Look at this. Just explain that to me in geology. Explain to me this entire field of patterns. Alright? Alright, so don't forget we got abrupt transition of that leather, or whatever it was, and it happens to be down here, coming up about this direction here. To what I say is the dragon in the desert and I believe these are the coils he had viper coils they say that were just enormous and I believe these are his coils because he one he had they say Apollodorus said he had the thighs of a human and he was a dragon and his head touched the stars his head often brushed the stars he had a red flaming eye. He had all unkempt f f fuzzy fur and feathers and whatnot. This is the stuff that you see on the dragons in the parades. This is his throat. All right, Apollodorus wrote about this exact event and how his throat was cut. Now he was attacking whatever this is. It sure looks like a fish to me. You come up and look at it yourself. And that stuff that came out of his throat here was very noxious, very, very noxious. And it came down and landed on that fish's back and chewed right into his vital flesh, tore him up something terrible. You see that stuff? That's what the dragon spit out. Look at that stuff. And that landed on a fish's back. You see it all coming, it's all coming right out from here, that black blob. And it landed right on his fin, and some made it all the way down to here. You see? Underneath there, you can actually see the blood vessels and the veins and the arteries and everything. Look at it, ate off the, the scales and all the like top skin or whatever. And here's the artery coming down, feeding the red blood to all of the, you see it? All of these are little blood vessels. And they're feeding down into the, all the little tissue. And then the black ones, you see the black ones? They're collecting it and bringing it back. These are the veins. The red ones are the arteries. And uh, this fish, well, they both look like they... They're dead to me. I don't know. You, I'm, i got to be honest with you. At this point, I just don't know anymore. But that dragon's head is up here, and his body runs all the way across Africa, North Africa. And his tail is, all, is still here. And look at how layered these, these scales are. This is not normal weathering and so forth. This is some kind of chemistry here that was from a growing creature. All right, look at the colors. That's those are transition metal colors. And there's this thing was must have been like phew, I can't imagine anything getting through these scales. But something did way up here on the other end. Now, don't forget, you see all this stuff running off here? That's nothing more than blood and transition metals running out from a, a decaying body. You see over here, same thing. And down the other end, the same thing. Now, it goes all the way across North Africa up to here. This is all runoff. From here, 
all down here is runoff. Of course, that's just the dragon venom. And here is the neck. And the neck, of course, runs right about down here and all the way down. And that's that flashy stuff you see on the parades. And you see here, he's got the same thing. He's got the scales. And here's the throat. Now, remember I said something cut his throat? In Apollodorus, it said that Zeus, with his great and mighty sword, which is his thunderbolts, cut his throat. And I, that's what I see right there. You see this? Let's look again at his throat. It comes right down here. Follow my cursor. That's where his throat actually, where he swallowed things. Right here, it's cut. You see that red? That's, he, it cut right through an artery, right? That's the killer right there. That was the one that killed him. And I mentioned this was green here. And green, the reason it's green is because of the blood. Blood makes things grow very, very green. This is just some kind of watery stuff. I, you know, it's a, like a lagoon or something. I don't know. But it's green. And it's in the desert. And the reason is because arteries, veins, all that stuff, it still has the tubing in the ground. So that's where you're going to get some, some moisture flowing. And this is coming out with the blood, so it's extremely fertile. And that's why... You okay, uh, that cut off a smidge early, but don't forget now what we're looking at. This is Typhon's head, and he spit at the fish. We know all about that. This is his throat that comes down, and I was right down here where he bled out in the desert <clears throat> from this gash across his throat. Now, I want you to see something else is on his other end is the huge flared tail. You see this way down here? That's not just green for nothing. That is his feathered flared tail. All right, it comes right off of his, right out of here, you see this? This is where the scales were that I showed you before, and it starts to turn into feathers. And then it keeps going feathers, 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 and out to here. And this shows this exactly identical with the tail, feathers all out here, on a map from 1375. Let's take a look at that. Okay, this is the Red Sea. This is all the principalities that they knew of. This was commissioned. It's the uh, Atlas Catalan Abraham Kresk map from 1375. Now, what is this? This is our dragon. There's his scales and everything. It comes right out here. Here's where they cut his neck. Here's his dragon head. And I, I believe Atlantis was here, and, and they used to come in and out of here. But, of course, it's gone now. From the flood, it all went out. But this was where he cut his throat, and it runs all the way across North Africa to his flutey tail out at the end which is what I just showed you on the, right here. He goes all the way across North Africa. And his tail is all the way big out here. And his legs, they say in Apollodorus, he had the thighs of a human. And he had these big, big, big long coils to stretch all the way across from one side of Africa to the other side. Now this was, something happened there when they fought. It looks to me like this is when Atlantis was swamped. Because Plato says it happened in one day. <laughs> Done. Case closed. And I could see that happening with a battle like this between these two. And the whole ocean drained out of here. This was an ocean at one time. And, and I could show you, there was a straits. They've always talked about the straits outside of Atlantis. Well... If this is Atlantis, where's the Straits? Well, it looks pretty straight to me. Because Plato claimed that. He says it was just outside the Straits. Now, nobody ever said it was the Straits of Gibraltar. I don't think. And what happened was all this ran out over here and washed this away. And Plato said that it happened in 24 hours and they will never speak of mud again. All this ran out and created the Cape Verde Islands. Piled up here and it swished around the sides. And this is what they call an alluvial plain. It's just a big flat pile of mud out there. 
I think I've made my case.